What's up, everybody? I am finally back from my job trip. It's been a while. Um, we have had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I cannot talk about all the updates today, but I'll present some of the newest ones that I've managed to complete. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, it's been a long week for me. I've been at work in another city, lived at a hotel. Uh, got to check out the new L LGS in Haugesund. Uh, got to meet some new people. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but I also got to put in some work at the hotel on my laptop. So here it is. Uh, we have, or I have redone the whole menu, top menu. Uh, so the, the most obvious thing is that there's a new logo, top logo. This is the same that we use on mobile. I'm thinking I should make a new one, actually. Uh, I think I will make a little round icon, try try my ha hands at that in Photoshop. Uh, the menu is a lot more compact. Uh, that is because it's now static. It's now always on top, so even if you scroll, it will always be on the top. Uh, I've done this because I think that is well. I actually saw that, uh, see that in a lot of other pages, especially Facebook uses this, and I think it's a good choice because it it, it makes the menu available at any point, no matter how long you scroll down. Like say you're scrolling the the decks, okay, so there's no decks this month. This is not the live database. So I have to select all time. Uh, the site is a lot slower on my computer too, since it's there's no cache available, and uh, yeah, the computer is a lot slower in general than compared to the live server. But damn, this is slow. Uh, so the main thing is that it's always available, and it's this way on mobile, and it's this way on desktop. And god damn it, should I just change the page? Okay, I give up. Stupid computer. I don't know why it's so slow. Shouldn't be that slow. It's the same way on mobile. The menu sticks to the top. And you have this side menu. Here. You scroll down. Uh, I also think I should try making this uh, one-liner. So instead of two, two rows, I uh, will try to make only one. Meaning I have to cut the logo move this bar up. I think it also have to be a little bit more compact. And I also think I should get rid of this bell icon. Like Maybe I should put a bell icon inside that menu. Nah. I, I'll, I'll get rid of this premium icon though. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with a bell icon. Maybe it's... Sh maybe I have enough space. We'll see. So that's how this look, and it's also a change that the icons get smaller, like I wanted to keep them on one line, so earlier the text went under the icon, uh, now it just gets smaller, because I want I don't want the header to, to grow larger, and then it disappears. So all in all, I'm happy with this change, it seems, it feels good so far. Uh, you guys have any feedback on that? Let me let me know. I haven't been able to test. Actually, I, I have to do that. So I have I haven't tested on Apple yet. Uh, I have a crappy old iPad. This is the first gen iPad, and it's only it only has the old uh, old iOS version. I don't I can't test it on newer versions of Safari. There are some stuff that are bugged on our site on this, but it works fine in the new Safari browser. So if any of you iOS users have have some time, just verify that everything works correctly. Uh, there are some bugs related to the width, uh, which happens sometimes. I will have have a look at that and try to find out what's going on there. Mm, and I also added total card spoiled. It's not live right now, actually, because I have to deploy this update. I'm going to deploy this uh, before I go to Retro Spilmessa, which is a retro game... What's it called in English? I think it's convention, retro game convention. A big retro game convention here in Norway, in my city, actually. 
looking forward to that. I'm gonna deploy this because now it's early morning in Norway and it's very late in the US when we have the most users. So this is the most ideal uh, uh, ideal time to do an update. Actually, I haven't talked about the spoiler system in any of the uh, my other videos. I've been pushing out updates way faster than I can make, make videos about them. So, the thing I like about this is that it's quite easy to access, so it's always on the front page, on the top. And you can see the new spoilers. So this is kind of wrong, because this is the offline database, so it, it fetched all 159 cards uh, when I opened it uh, earlier. So when you click a card, it opens a model, and you have TCG player links, and you also have a description. This is very useful when there are translations. So this system is powered by Scryfall, actually. It is uh, quite awesome of them. So we have no way of doing spoilers manually. Like, there is no way we can do that. Uh, this uh, I'm not working full-time on Leetrop. Even if I did, it's not something I, I want to do. Uh, it's such it's so much work. So I really appreciate the guys at Scryfall doing this. So we are basically fetching their database, which also means we get their silly names. So, some cards are not... Well, like this is in Russian. And when you click, you can see the translated version, but I'm pretty sure it's not named Kill Stealer. So this is the guy's Scryfall, having fun with the names. So, Spoiler Systems is all about fun and... Uh, yeah, basically not, not being that serious, so I think this is fine. Obviously, we're, we don't want to import this into our real database so these cards are not available in a deck builder unfortunately we might do something in the fu uh, future about this like having all the spoiler cards available in the deck builder right away uh, we have to we actually have to see how it plays out uh, how we can do this because there might the problem is if there's any errors and stuff that they don't do correctly, and we import that to the database, that, is, that it would not be a good thing. So we want to try to avoid that by waiting until all the cards are out, and the database is quite okay before we, we import it. Uh, so this is the spoiler section. Usually this is but like um, grouped into days. So, but, but since it fetched all the cards uh, when I opened the the, uh, the test site, they are all grouped at the same day. So another cool thing I have made is I've made some delete buttons here. Let me add some cards in the collection. I'll add this. Uh, so you can see here we have added a remove all cards button to delete all cards quickly and we also added this for deleting a row and it doesn't matter how much you put here as long as you click this it will just delete the card quick so don't don't misclick on that button because the card disappears without any verification uh, and that's a nice addition to to the deck builder like a really neat addition actually this button was here, but it was hidden because there was some incorrect classes, uh, but it didn't work correctly So I just went in and fixed that didn't take Very much time actually. I just haven't had time to sit down with the collection system lately uh, It has been ignored. Magnus had ma has made an import system so It's a simple one so far. You can only import like you can't It works with MTGA, but you can't import specific sets and you can't export yet either so that is coming we're going this is all the formats we are going to support i also want to add mtg online for decks like importing and exporting decks to mtg online that is a request i've had recently so um, have to work on that and why is the collection text all over here what is going on here it's probably something we have to fix that looked really weird. Oh, it's because of this. Okay, so th it should it should hide that. Actually, when you when you click the export button, yeah, that's need to be hidden. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. 
uh, I, there was a lot. I had some bugs when I released a new menu uh, that I had to fix. So there's a lot of small UI bug fixes and a lot of spacing fixes and stuff like that. Also had an error with some ads that were not showing up. They're not showing up here because this is not the live version. Uh, but all in all, we can have a look at it live version. So this is how it truly looks. You see nine cards spoiled and uh, they are grouped by day. And this is, it might seem a bit weird with the date. That is because this is the Norwegian time, time zone the server is in. So that's what you get basically. And as you can see here, they are grouped by, by days. So spoiler season, so far we are, and you can see that uh, there's no total counter here, because it will be in a couple of minutes, as soon as I get this done. So I think uh, next time I will talk about more updates we've done. Uh, I have a lot of catch-up to do with my YouTube, so look forward to that. And uh, until next time, I'll see you.